Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. I'll be looking into the, I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And do keep in mind, Pisces, that this reading is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. The parts of the reading that do, definitely you can apply that to yourself, and the rest that do not, at this moment then, that is meant for somebody else because somebody else will resonate with that message. I also wanted to thank all of you for your support and um, your patience as well. Thank you. I am feeling much better now. Your well wishes, your prayers have been heard. I feel normal again, <laughs> thank God. The vertigo is gone. And something I'll never forget, three months, it took three months for me to get better, for goodness sakes. I've never been that sick in my life, but any illness is bad, any illness. It doesn't just have to be vertigo, but it's um, truly very debilitating. I didn't realize that until it happened to me. I never even thought about vertigo. <laughs> didn't even know what it was much. Oh boy, oh boy past life connection there is a lot of issues here Pisces what is going on there's grief there is sadness because differences of opinions so we have here the first card is the strongest this is relationship then we have synthesis followed by grief Beliefs, crisis, hearth and home, laughter, mystery, and nourishment under the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently, Pisces, your person of interest. My dear Pisces, Even though so much has happened between us, deep in my heart, all I want and all I wish for is to have a long-term committed relationship with you. I've thought about you. I've dreamed about you. Many moons, many nights have gone by when I've stayed awake in bed thinking about you and I realize now that I really do want a long-term committed relationship. I understand that there are things in this connection where there is a lack of peace and harmony. Once upon a time there used to be a lot of peace and harmony, but now there is not. And I understand that I have been very opinionated. I feel guilty, remorseful, even regretful for certain things that I have said and done, for not understanding your perspective, for not listening to you, for not believing in you. I know what I did was wrong. And it does hurt my heart now. You and I were born and brought up differently. There's so many things that are different between our worlds. My beliefs are different. Yours are. My lifestyle, my thought process, my mindset is different from yours. But isn't that something that 
we should admire. I am now very overwhelmed because of the feelings that I have. They are simply overwhelming. I need to sort out these feelings and emotions that I have for you now. But I am unable to sort them out. And because of that, there is a lot of confusion. And where there's confusion, there is a lack of direction because I don't want to take any steps further because I am confused. You are my hearth and home. Wherever you are, that is where home is. I feel that you are like family to me. My heart feels warm when I think about you. And when I'm lost, you are that person that can guide me home. I do feel that in this connection, you are that one person who is like my best friend. There are many things that you and I have done and shared memories. There are many things that I want to do and I want to build memories because you are that one person that knows how to make my heart happy. You are like sunshine. You are bright and magnificent, beautiful. And all I can think of is I question the universe as to why is it that you have come into my life? Were we meant to be together? Are we supposed to be together? I question the universe because there's something about you that's very familiar as if I've known you before. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel that maybe we have a spiritual bond. I do feel that you are the complete package, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. You are very nourishing. I feel fulfilled knowing that there is this part that exists. You have it all, which is why I want a long-term committed relationship with you. All right, Pisces. Goodness me. Wow. <laughs> um, it's pretty interesting here. You have a situation where this person does know that there's differences between you. However, they're pushing these differences to the side and they want to be with you. It's very nice. It's very sweet. Okay. Let's have a look at what was or what is the blockage? What were the hurdles, the issues that occurred? Maybe this person didn't tell you what they were feeling, why they may have either ghosted you or kept their distance from you. I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. So this should allow us to see what was the main problem, something that they did not mention to you. Princess of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Arrows. All right. So the Princess of Cups. This does talk about an empty offer or an invitation. Okay. In the past, Pisces, this person may have given you an invitation or offered you um, some type of affection. Maybe let's, maybe you were dating. Maybe this was just um, a friends with benefits connection or something like that. But the offer that was given had no substance. It was very empty. So the cup that was given to you that you thought might have had a little bit of love in it, it did not have that much love in it. It was almost like less, like quite less than half. And in your mind, the, the cup that you had given to this person was quite full. 
So this is um, an empty offer or an invitation. Here, the person has also acted. There's a lot of fickleness or immaturity of affection. Here we have inconsistent and unreliable messages, ambivalence and codependence. Yikes. So this person was really immature with their affections and they were inconsistent and unreliable. Now this is a, a long while ago. Um, this might still be happening for some of you. Of course, this is not going to resonate with everybody out there, just with a few of you. But um, overall, this person was not in the right state of mind to be with you emotionally the way that you wanted to be. We have here the Ten of Arrows. Yeah, there you go. Understanding, a lack of understanding and a lack of wisdom. That's exactly it. More needed to be considered before complete understanding of the situation could have been made or understood. This person was overwhelmed by too much information that was given to them and they were getting lost in the details. So you may have, and not all of you, this is just for some of you, some of you might have expressed yourselves to this person and they could not assimilate, or um, an easier word, recognize or understand the emotions and feelings that you had for them. They just could not understand why you have so much feelings and emotions for them. Why? Imagine, right? The person was immature. So you are basically, your level is up here. Their level was down here, right? So how can you possibly talk to somebody who's down here when their mindset is not like yours? Remember, you have the beliefs card, right? The beliefs card right over here. You can rewind this and see it in the video. Beliefs. Yes, you thought that this was love. They thought that this was temporary. That's what happened. That's where most of this connection started going downhill when you had thought that, yes, maybe this can go further. Maybe we can have a better connection going further. However, this person, at least at the time, and some of them might even be right now, um, not as mature as you are. And mature simply means, you know, experienced, right? Um, in this type of way. But people can be experienced, but then still act immature. So there is a sense of somebody here not acting mature enough. All right, I have here the beginner's tarot deck. So I'm going to be looking into any intentions or actions that this person may take towards you. So you do have the king of pentacles nice so this person is going to want to at least make an offer of solid a solid offer of affection they do have a lot of affection for you i don't know what's going on with this card but this is probably the third or fourth reading i've gotten this card they're just holding on to what they want dear life they're holding on to you but they're also holding on to the beliefs that they have and they don't want to let go because of certain might be ego and pride it could simply be that they feel stuck in a situation um, with their loved ones with their family with their friends and they're not able to adjust and so they're holding on to their beliefs very dearly here we also have which fell out Five of Cups. They do feel that they are crying over spilled milk. Many things that have happened in the past, they realize they could have changed, they could have adjusted, but they never did. Oh my God, look at that. Five of Pentacles. They feel as though you have rejected them. They feel rejected. They feel left out in the cold. They are hurting. Pisces. These are really strong cards, guys. This person's not in a good place. Ten of Swords. 
they feel that the future that they thought they might have had with you, or even a future of better understanding, it has backstabbed them. They have been stabbed in the back by fate and fortune. Things that they had planned did not work out. The grass was not greener on the other side. And so now they actually are realizing that anything that they had thought of, all of the, the impression that they had of you, turns out to be quite different. They are done. They have just had enough. Enough is enough. But what happens after the Ten of Swords? Here we have in the background, a new day is rising. So yes, eventually this person is going to get over these feelings and emotions. And they are going to want, because this is a first card, it's the strongest emotion. They do want to give you a solid offer, but right now they're not in the proper mindset. Nope. Not right now. Do they have that intention? Are they making plans? Um, they're not making plans yet. Action is out of the question. They're not taking any action so far. Some of you, yeah, it's it might resonate for some of you where they may um, actually take some action. But what I see right now with this spread, they're not taking action. Um, they're not making any plans. However, they do have intention. And that's good because they at least have to have the intention in order to move forward to take any action in the future. Okay, let's have a look at Dorian Virtue's Archangel Answer cards. Just going to do a quick prayer. Okay, so these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. They are sending these messages to you, Pisces, for your greater good what will make your soul happy. And if your soul is happy, your body and your mind will be happy. All right. So you have here, they're telling you to get more information about this person, about the situation that they are in, about the problems that they have. If some of you can, sure, you can talk to them directly, or you can find out through friends, family, maybe even social media, get more information. Here we have within the next few weeks is when you will be receiving some information about this person. And they are suggesting um, that you should keep a positive mindset and manifest this. You will be able to manifest this. Look for a sign. So this could be signs and synchronicities. This could also be simply this person texting you. And the text might be short, but it simply means that they're trying to break the ice. They're trying to reach out to you and start a conversation with you. Yes, there will be abundance and this abundance is going to be spiritual abundance as well as romantic abundance. Here you do have recovery. Under the bottom of the deck you have a timeline. The next few months or a year from now, time is fluid. So for some of you, this may even happen in a few weeks, right? Um, but keep in mind, people don't change overnight. This person is truly, truly going through a lot of um, introspection. They need to heal and then they will become more wiser. And then they will reach out to you in the future. Here we have recovery. This is talking about you, Pisces. Um, some of you have really experienced negative effects from this connection, um, partly because it has been a spiritual connection. It is very intense. So for this, I do have a package called Chakra Checkup. And I look into the negative energies that are now in your home, around your aura, and inside of your body. I teach you how many um, I mean, I tell you how many you have, which types, and then I teach you how to get rid of them in a very safe way. I also explain to you how to realign your energy centers in a slightly different way. My method is not the same as typical yogis do. So my method is quite different, but it is effective. 
So for those of you that may feel that you are energetically drained, this could have been due to anxiety, stress, um, depression. Energetically, you tend to attract negative energies, and that is what has happened here. Um, very soon, with the grace of God, you will be able to recover. And this is still going to happen. You are still going to recover. But just keep in mind, if you are in an environment where you have toxic people, it is very difficult for you to even heal. It's difficult because those negative energies keep attaching themselves onto you. And that package that I have, that material will last and stay with you for the rest of your life. Um, if you feel somebody has done um, a hex, black magic, witchcraft, if you feel your home is haunted, anything like that, this package gets rid of all of that. It's um, something I created because I've been through a lot in my life. So you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. And so I created this and it actually works. Um, it is quite easy and it's uh, nothing too spooky. All right. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in to this particular reading. And I do have an announcement to make, which I hardly ever do. So brought to you by popular demand. So many of you have complimented um, my voice. Some of you say it's calming and soothing. Um, wink, wink. My mother tends to not think so. <laughs> but what I decided to do was take the advice of many of you who have actually said that I should start something um, more talking, right? So I have officially started and opened another channel. And the channel's name is Asnoitia Audio. And here I am going to be posting um, mostly audio um, about me talking about the things that I usually do. So um, in readings, for example. So explaining certain concepts and ideas and definitions. So like, uh, you know, spiritual connections. What are spiritual connections? You know, like what's a twin flame? What's a karmic partner? That kind of stuff. But in the future, I'm hoping to maybe add in extra things like relationship advice or something related about, you know, negative energies. So far, I'm still starting off. Um, but this was only made possible by all of you. I never would have thought I wasn't going to open up another channel. But when I have those many people <laughs> saying it constantly, I'm like, nope, I got to do this. I got to do this. I never believed in myself because of that. But you guys are like, you got a nice voice. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so it's here then. I hope you guys enjoy that channel as well. Please do like, share, and subscribe to that particular channel. Um, of course, it's not going to be as regular as I have this particular channel, which is obviously two weeks, but I will be adding in topics here and there that you may find interesting. Um, once in a while and a lot of uh, explanations that I may uh, share with you things that people usually are curious about thank you Pisces for viewing this video and I will see you guys again you all take care stay safe and I look forward to any comments you may have about this reading all right then bye now